All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. <laughs> Today we are back for another fragrance related video. This one is not a full review, but we are diving deep into the house of Memoirs London. Look man, I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest here. So when I first heard this fragrance company, I did not know much about them, even though I do follow them on Instagram. I have been doing this for quite some time. I was not aware of it, but I'm like, oh, this is the company, boom. So my good people over at Luxury Scentbox hit me up and they said, big beard, Bing, we got a company we want you to check out. Let us know what you think about them. And at your leisure, if we care to bring it to the people, then bring it to the people. And I said, I send it. So upon receiving the fragrances, I decided to do a little research and find out a bit more about the company because I can only learn so much from pictures that you post on Instagram. All right, and this is what I was able to find out. One, they are a British luxury fragrance company, kind of like my car. Cheerio. <laughs> Additionally, Memoirs London sets out to make this unique take on fragrances. What they do is they take past parts of fragrances, things that we like, and do some forward thinking that says, hey, if it was here, now, and today, what would it be? And don't get that like Michigan shrew for like clones because I haven't come across any clones. That stated, their approach is taking traditional and modern fragrance ingredients along with some newly crafted molecules to create these fragrances that they have today. Now I have three of them in front of me. We're gonna test them out. See what we think. Do we like them? Do we love them? And do we want some more of them? So I have three fragrances from their dark range. So I would imagine by the name that these things are darker. Something probably my wife would like here because these were supposed to be created off of the seven deadly sins. So I do not have full bottles here, but what I do have is my 9ml sample decants from our good people over at Luxury Scent Box. If you know anything about these people, then you know that they have a ton of fragrances available for you to check out. And they also have the largest size atomizers available as far as subscription companies go. So after I twist and go and spray, I'm gonna be really interested to try these things out because these fragrances are supposed to recall your deepest, most intimate and darkest memories out there and obviously fragrance is all about invoking memories and feelings and passion and smelling good for compliments etc so here we go man so the first fragrance that i have here is nvidia or some sort of name like that let's see what we got here first spray it's good not bad You like it? It smells good. I feel it's like it's more feminine though. I don't think this is like a man's fragrance. But it's good though, I do like it. A man could wear it, but I don't feel like it's very manly, if that makes any sense. Let me take that back because now I'm getting some darker notes in there. Like it started off like really floral to me, but now I smell like either some type of leather or something. So the missus said this one kind of reminds her of like some dark or black licorice. When I first sprayed this, I got floral notes or it smelled kind of florally, but now I'm getting some type of leather or something in it. We'll go through the notes on this one in just a minute. So according to their site, NVIDIA, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a sensual and desirable fragrance of white tuberose. It also has orchid and ylang-ylang. Then it also have undertones of tobacco, oak, vetiver, and leather. There's also vanilla in this thing as well, man. So that's probably why I said it was feminine at first. It started off very florally, but as it began to transition and die down just a bit, um, I started to get that leather note in it. I do like this one though, solid fragrance overall, and the missus likes it as well. The next one that we have here is Tristidia. Tristidia? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what this thing smells like and not talk about any more today's. This one's pretty strong. <laughs> this one's pretty strong. It smells very natural. This one is not my taste. <clears throat> it's kind of pungent. Now, I, I know there's going to be somebody out there that this is their favorite one. And I get it because there's people who like the art of fragrances. And I feel like this is one of those that takes a more artistic approach on it. But it's not for me. So let's see what they have to say about this one and see if it lines up. So, according to the site, this one is a wonderful 
oriental blend of rich red rose again i just had this conversation on a video that rose can be off-putting to some in the fragrance depending on how it's utilized so this one is strong it also has jasmine top notes you have a creamy vanilla heart and then you also have oud patchouli civet and amber in this fragrance so you got some strong ingredients in this one right so you have rose which can be off-putting it's very strong depending on how it's utilized you have oud and that's probably what i was smelling even though this is in the base but i could could detect the oud in it you also have civet that's a strong fragrance as well a strong note and then you have amber which should make it soften up a bit and make it a little more cozy along with that vanilla now I'll obviously come back to these fragrances later see what they smell like once they fully dry down and give you some updates down in the, the description box but as of right now this one is not for me someone out there is going to like this one they have some solid notes in there but kind of together those are strong notes right you have oud which you know oud in itself to some people can be really uh bad but i like oud um you also have that civet there and that rose rose again can be kind of off-putting at times but it smells extremely natural if that makes any sense to you guys um so i guess good job on that side of things but that one is not for this is what I will say. If you're going across seven deadly sins, right? That one is definitely falls in line to what they were looking to do. And finally, we have Luxuria. All right. I'm expecting this one to be very luxurious. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I like this one. This one put a smile. <laughs> put a smile on my face. This was good. I like this one. This one has some sweetness to it. It's maybe, I think vanilla was in those other two, so I'm going to go with vanilla is in this one. This one was like a very natural, sweet type of fragrance. Like, not like your, your designer, one million, or anything like that. This one's sweet, more of a, a natural level. It's kind of creamy, too. I like it. This is my favorite. My favorite. So it goes this one. Nvidia, I think, what was it called? Nvidia. Nvidia, and then that last one that we just did. In oil. And according to their site, this one is a beautiful floral fragrance, which I agree with thus far. Opening with ways of juicy raspberry, sweet vanilla, ha ha, musk, and suede, and amber. Dope. This one's nice. I might wear this one today. Center of the day. I'm going down right now. You'll see it on the weekend fragrance rotation. <laughs> yep. I like this one. Winner, winner, chicken, dinner. So, man, I liked two out of the three that were sent to me. There are seven fragrances all together. Um, and if I had to put them in order, once again, I go Luxuria, Nvidia, and then lastly, Tristidia. So, solid offerings overall. I think that what I like most about these fragrances is they are very natural smelling. Like, I do like that. They put some time in it. It doesn't smell like anything that I've smelled so far, which I can, you know, be thankful for. I enjoy that. Creative. You're smart. And I also like kind of what they're doing. Like, in the fashion world, you have, like, different seasons, right? In different seasons, you have different types of outfitting. You're not, like, actual seasons. I mean, when they bring the stuff to you, right? And this one here, this would be, like, their first season. It's all dark fragrances, but they smell really different and um two of these i really enjoy another thing about these fragrances obviously these are niche fragrances so they aren't particularly cheap if you're looking to pick these up they're going to be over the 200 dollars price point in most cases so the best way to try them is to holler at my people over at luxury scent box now these are premium items which means you're not going to walk around smelling like everybody out there in the streets not these average regular Douglas. So it's another $3 a month for the premium subscription, which takes it from $15 to $18. But because you rock with me and I'm rocking with you, you can use the code Big Bib Business to save a total of $5 off your first month order, man. So it takes you down from that $18 price point to $13. And if you are already at the $15 price point, then that takes you down to $10. So you're winning. Man, so you got the largest vials in the game right here, man. 9ml, which is about 150 sprays. So you 
can wear this one with confidence and know that this one is going to last you when you travel out and about, man. So that's what I have for you guys today, man. Shout out to the good people over at Luxury Scent Box for making this possible. And if you're looking to check out any memoirs fragrance, then down below, man, use that code Big Bid Business to save yourself five smack a ruse. That's what I have for you guys today. As always, I'm your boy, Big Bid B. Don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Look, man, it can get dark and deadly, so don't make this a set. Just hit the goddamn bell.